Hi guys, it's repair time again. One day before my Christmas leave, a colleague of mine came to me and brought me this piece of kit. He said it fall down and since then it doesn't work anymore. We have a lot of these, uh, these, these appliances in use and it's nothing else as an LTE router that has an embedded LTE modem inside, Wi-Fi and a two port switch that is uh, separated in WAN and LAN. Here you have the card, the SIM card for the LTE, the two antennas for the mobile LTE and Wi-Fi. So nothing really spectacular, but they're not that cheap. They, they cost 150 euros or something like that. Yeah, Made in Lithuania. Yeah, I will show you the data sheet and we will open it to see what the problem is with that. Okay, that's the data sheet made in Lithuania. We do a lot of this. This former Soviet, Soviet republics have a high, a lot of high tech industry. Very good people there. This reminds me, uh, this router, this Teltronica router reminds me Microtik. It's more or less the same class and I use till now mostly Microtik and this one is just, I got it for repair, I didn't use it. I use it as an access point, that's all, yeah. But a Microtik I use for very heavy configuration and security configurations. Anyway, it has an LTE port, it has a Wi-Fi port, and two copper ports, Ethernet 10 slash 100 megabits. That's it. The rest is the software. As I said, it reminds me of Microtik. And the interesting thing is they are from Latvia. And Teltronica is from Lithuania. <laughs> anyway, let's open it and see what we will see inside. Okay, let's open it. First, I see this crucial self tappers. I don't like that in a plastic frame. Anyway, okay, let's take it out. As I said, self tappers. You see? And what we see here? Whoa, there's really nothing inside. Switch mode power supply because it takes between 9 and 30 volts. So it's a step down to 5 and 3.3. The magnetics for the 10 base T boards. The main chip that does everything. We will have a check after that to see if I find a data sheet about that. Let's turn it around. Yeah, then we have the Wi-Fi part. This seems like a flash, but we will check again uh, to see if there are any data sheets. And Atheros, that's a Wi-Fi chip. Then we have here a serial E square prom. And yeah few other stuff, the SIM card for the LTE and the SMA connectors. Ah, yes, look what you see here. Somebody already tried to fix it, but without success, as we can see here, The center is not connected to this trace. It's broken. C 
same here and even worse this is connected to ground so we have to this is probably the problem oh my god look at that yeah somebody tried to do something without having the correct equipment and that's it okay this looks awful I will connect the broken traces and we check we will check to find data sheets for the <laughs> few parts that are on this board. Okay, these are the data sheets. All the interesting ICs I could find data sheets. There are there are two major ICs system on chips. The one, the big one. This one, or let's say so, this one is the LTA chip and the mobile chip and includes a lot of standards and GNSS, so GPS, Galileo, etc. Then we have the main CPU. This is the router that does everything here. Yeah? It's an Atheros chip, Wi Fi switch copper switch, USB physical, and the connection to a serial flash and to the dynamic RAM. And here we have the flash. Okay. It's a quite small one. It is a 16, wait, what is it here? What does it say? Yeah, 16 kilobytes. Okay, probably the whole system is 16 kilobytes only. Very interesting. Anyway, and the last chip is a DRAM, a DDR2 RAM, 32 megabits by 16. These are the most important chips on this board. And of course, a PGA. These are funny to solder by hand. You can do it only with, with hot air and still there and still with hot air they are quite funny because you don't see, you have no possibility to see, to check if the pads, um, the balls are correctly soldered. There are a few techniques that I'm using that more or less it works 99.999 uh, periodic, yeah, but these things never was intended to be soldered by hand. Okay, let's check the PCB again. Okay, I reconnected the broken traces. This one wasn't possible to connect directly. I made a very, very small bridge here. Of course, it's the whole thing is a strip line with 50 ohms, but this is such a small piece that will not make any problems. I reinforced the SMA connectors. This is very bad. Why did they do that? They should use normal SMA connectors that are rudged, rudged not these edge connectors. If they fall down and it falls on the antennas, this thing breaks completely, completely off. What exactly happened? Anyway, the connectivity is here again, no shorts. The second one I could connect directly. I don't know if where it is better we can see it. It is directly connected on the old trace, on the broken trace. Again here I massively reinforced the SMA connector, this one didn't have any problem, but I did something else and I reinforced on the bottom side, at least on one side, the connectors, so a little bit more rigid. Yeah, well, 
mechanically, absolute not a good construction. I don't like these edge connectors. They had a lot of space to put normal ones. And through hole, perhaps even through hole ones. Much, much more stable ones. These things fall down, and if they fall down, the PCB, the traces, the plane is gone. Yeah. Anyway, this should be corrected now after my holiday. I will give it to the colleague, to the to the uh, my colleague to test it because I don't want to play with that. I have to configure it, etc. He has all the configuration. He should do it. So, if you like what you see, first of all, happy New Year. And if you like what you see, if you like my videos, please push the like button and subscribe to my channel. This will help me a lot to grow, to my channel to grow. I want to thank all my subscribers for bringing me where I am at the moment. I never thought that I will reach the subscriber count I have now. Even if for others it is ridiculous, my subscriber count, for me it's a lot. I started from nothing. And yeah, I never thought that so many people were interested, will be interested in what I'm doing or what I'm saying. Again, thank you very much. Wish you a great year with health and prosperity. And have a nice few free days if you have. See you to the next video. Thank you for watching. Cheers. Okay, the whole thing has been put together again. Should work. See you guys and thank you for subscribing to my channel. Cheers, bye.